Right, so we're going to going to have to do a reverse around the corner, yeah? Yeah. So, what would you want to find out from your pupil? Uh, if they've done any manoeuvres before. Yeah. And obviously what, what manoeuvres they are. Right, so I haven't done any, any manoeuvres before. Okay. But what might I have done before? Junctions, wouldn't you? Right, so couldn't you ask him, has he ever done any reversing before? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've done a bit of straight reversing with my instructor um, on the last lesson. Okay. Yeah? Yep. And then where would you want, where would you want to go with that information then? Um, where they were looking, I suppose. Yeah. Good question. Easy, obvious one. Oh, he told me I had to look in the direction I was going. Yep. And what else would you ask him? Uh, reference points about reversing or not yet? Yeah, he could do. Um, when he was doing the straight line reverse, uh, did he pick up a reference point to know when he was close to the curb? Yep. Um, no, we didn't. We didn't get a chance to do that. Okay. Okay, that's all right. We can cover that when we get there then. Yeah. And how do I keep the car? How did I keep the car slow? Okay, yeah. How did you keep the car slow? Yeah. Oh, it was a coordination of them pedals, he said. Yeah. Yeah? So, on the way to the area, what you can do is uh, get me to show you how I kept the car slow when I'm coming out of the bay in the car park okay. and when I'm emerging at junctions. Okay. Yeah, just show me, Tony, you know, how did you keep the car slow? Yeah? Um, if you, if you don't say that, they will get you to the area all right, but it'll be... Jerky. It'll be very jerky get away right. from, the, uh, uh, from all the emerges, yeah? Yep. All right? So, then you're going to ask him to do what? He's only just got in the car. Uh, so do your checks, make sure that you all right, yeah. proper drill. All right. Oh, yeah, I've got to set these up. Come on, tell me to sit back in my seat. Sit back in your seat. Why? Because what you're doing is you're adjusting your mirror when you're yeah. out of position. Yeah. So basically, when you're sitting here, this is when we're going to be looking in our mirror. If you look over here and then adjust it so that we're adjusting it looking over here, what's going right. to happen when you sit back? I'm not going to be able to see am I? <laughs> you're not going to see anything. Right. Maybe my head, uh, right. if you want to look at me. Yeah, it's nice. Head, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's done. Okay. Door mirrors, are you happy with? Sorry? What can you see? I'm going to see what... Uh, what? Oh, really? oh, I can see the top and bottom of the back window. Yep. And uh, I can see the corner of yours. And, uh, corner of my... Your window. Yep, okay. And uh, I can see uh, a bit of my head restraint. Good. And... Um, door mirrors, are you happy with them? Oh, yeah, I can see the door handles and I can see a bit of sky and a bit of road. And the same with that one. Good, okay. Yeah? yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Right, time to start up when I'm ready. I'm going to start when you're ready. Now, we're going to make our way um, to the exit of the car park and we're going to turn right. Okay. I'm going to go right nice and slow. Okay, what we're going to do then, Tony, show me how you kept the car nice and slow. Oh, with them foot controls, you mean? With those foot controls. And we're going to turn right. I'm going to turn right then, please, Tony. So remember, nice and slow, show me how you uh, kept it nice and slow when you're doing the reverse. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to turn um, right. And we're going to turn right again. Please do. Yeah. 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 Go on, encourage me to show you how I keep this car. So remember, yeah. show me how you kept it going slow. All right. As if you were reverse. Turn right at the lights up. And right at the lights, please. And again, as you pull away here, Tony, 
try and keep the car going nice and slow. Yeah, show me how you showed me. Yeah, show me how you get that car nice and slow. Yeah. Have you been in this end of the country before? Um, do you know, I've only I've only ever been to Luton once, and I and I only ever went to the airport, and it was when I was back as an apprentice, and um, I worked for a hire car company. Oh right. And we uh, drove here once because um, we were dropping a car off. So it's the only time I've ever been. St. Albury's quite nice. St. Yeah. Albury's? Yeah, very old place. It's a nice place, but it's not very good as a shopping place or a social place. We haven't even got a cinema. What, here in Luton? No, in St. Albury's. Like St. Albury's is in Hertfordshire and Luton's in Bedfordshire. Right, okay. <laughs> And we're going to take the next turning to the right. We're going to take the next turning to the right. So remember to show me how you get the car going nice and slow. All right, yeah. So what about you? How long have you been? Yeah, I lived in Hartford since about 85. Okay. I actually lived in Luton when I got married originally. How long have you been an instructor? Uh, since 1980. Wow. <laughs> uh, you must have seen a lot of changes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What made you go on to the instructor side of things? I don't know really. Um, I think it's something that a lot of people consider doing. Now we're going to turn left. Turn left. I've done seven years teaching bikes. All right. Okay. So that's still one of your passions. Huh? Yeah, I like teaching them, but. Uh, It can be a little bit messy, especially when they, because uh, obviously you haven't got the same control. If they fall off, they're going to be, even if it's a, a low speed uh, fall off, they're going to have some kind of injury, and they? Did it happen a lot though? Oh yeah, I mean they're going to fall off, and they? I mean all you've got is radio communications with them, isn't it? If they freeze up, coming into a bend. Uh, I, I had one attempt to do my CBT and I managed to do a wheelie over around the bound yeah, and right. I thought that was the end of it really, I'm not going to pursue this any further. <laughs> that was time to give up, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, you're ahead, don't I didn't yeah. fall off, but obviously I thought it was. Is <laughs> that you going to? Yeah. Apart to do it again now, I think now I'm a bit older, no, I was I'm quite young at the time. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm a bit younger, I'd probably attempt it again now, a bit older I'd attempt it again, but I was so young I just thought it was going to be quite cool when it was. And then we're going to turn immediately right again. Okay, and we're going to take the first road on the right. And if you get me to stop just before the next turning on the left, please. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to pull up just before the next turn in on the left. He seems to have quite a lot of time to practice yeah. before this. <laughs> right, so it's going to be a left hand reverse. Yep. And obviously they won't tell you that until you get here because they won't know you. Yeah? Okay. And it's going to be into that turning just ahead of us, yeah? Okay, yep. So if you want to get, uh, you haven't got your braking book, so if you want to use mine. Okay. <laughs> And the PST4. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Right. Right, so I'll hand it over to you. Okay. Uh, obviously, on the dial line, I've got, there's normally us down here. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll know where you are. So, yeah. Yeah. so we're down here at the moment, then. Yeah. Honey, and in a minute we're going to just do the left reverse turn. Yeah. Into it. Um, it looks quite complicated. It's not, and I'll guide you through it bit by bit. So don't be phased by how it looks. All right. Okay. Um, so we're down here at the moment. Uh, what we're going to do in a very short period of time is um, we're going to um, pull up past the junction. Uh, as we get about halfway to so where the centre line is, imagine it comes out, we're going to just take a quick glance into the new road, make sure that there's nothing parked up All right. uh, that's going to obstruct us yeah. from reversing in. Okay, and then obviously we just put a signal on to indicate that we're going to be stopping just after the junction. Always put a okay. signal on, yeah? Yep, so we have a signal and then we'll pull in. Um, and then we're going to stop. Would it not be a case of our signal if it's required? Uh, yep. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So if we require a signal, we yep. signal just in case anything behind us. Uh, if not, then obviously we can just pull up past the junction. Um, we're going to roll up a little bit past the junction, probably just for car length before that car's parked. See the Mondeo parked on the other side of the road? Right. We don't want to be pulling up too close behind that, so probably we stop about a car length behind that. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, just to give you a bit of a reference. And then obviously um, we'll stop there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reverse back. So, so give me a bit of guidance on, on how far away from the curve I need to be. Okay, uh, we need to be stopping uh, our normal stopping distance away from the curve, so probably about where we are now. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be as close to the curve as I would do for a normal park, would I? Right, okay. Um, what we normally say is a drain's width. Okay. Yeah? Alright. So if I stop at approximately drain's width from the curve, yeah? Okay. Yeah? Okay. So when we stop then we want to be roughly a drain's width away oh, right, from yeah. the kerb, okay? And obviously then we stop there. Um, then we secure the car and obviously we're going to be reversing back to yep. the start of the corner right. or the bend in the road for us, okay? Yeah. So again, obviously we put it, we secure the car first and then we put it into reverse. Looking out the back window, because obviously that's the direction in which we travel, so we always look in the direction that we're travelling. So we're looking out the back window. Right. Um, and obviously we're going to reverse back to the start of where the where the back wheels basically start near the bend. So where the back wheels what? Start. So where the where the start of the bend is. So where it stops from going straight and then the bend starts. Oh, the bit that curves around. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah. When our back wheels get there, that's when we're going to stop again. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, just quick reminder that for every car link we go back, we've just got to quickly check forward. Okay, to make sure that nothing's coming in front of us. Oh, just forward, right? Yeah, yeah. so just a quick glance forward, because what we're looking for is we're looking for anything coming down. And, oh, right. and if there is something coming down, we have to stop. Because oh, right. uh, we don't know if that person is going to be turning into the road behind us. Oh, so okay. obviously we don't want to continue yep. and obviously obstruct them or, you know, them get a bit worried. So if we see anything coming, we just stop. It's the same with if anything's coming up behind us. Yep. Okay, while we're doing the manoeuvre, we just stop. Um, so then we're going to reverse back into the back wheels, obviously start. So where the bend starts in this picture, obviously when we get to the normal road, that's when obviously we're going to stop again. Because yeah. what we've got to do then is we've got to then think about getting our turn on, because we've got to start to turn it into the road. Okay, again I'll guide you through it, about how much turn we need to begin with. Um, I would say you're probably looking about half to three quarters of a turn, maybe a full turn. But I won't know until we get there. What does that mean? Uh, basically obviously two, how, many how many turns of the wheel we're going to have. Yeah, so, what's a half, what's three quarters, and what's a full turn? Uh, well, obviously, if you if there's a... Uh, just be careful that you don't uh, 
that you, that you don't encroach on the side of the car too much. Yeah? Okay. If you um, if you imagine the steering wheel and it's in uh, the twelve o'clock position, so as in one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Have you ever oh, done right, that yeah, before? Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, half a turn would be then from 12 to 6. So, would half a turn be this bit up here? That's it, yeah. That'd be half a turn of the steering yeah. wheel, wouldn't it? Okay. And, so, what, and what would be uh, a quarter of a turn? Uh, well, the bit that you touched, where that would bit. that, yeah, where would a quarter end up? Oh, would that be there? Yep. That would be then a half. Yep. Would three quarters be this bit round there? Yep. And then and a full turn? Would a full turn be. All the way around with that badge facing up the same way. Yeah. 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 All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we're probably looking somewhere around there. Yeah. So obviously just coming out of Rotherham, innit? Yep. Yeah. You would have to consolidate that. Uh, consolidate that with them. Okay. Uh, it's not good getting on the move and say, right, stick three quarters of a turn on because he's going to go, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you need to consolidate between the two of you that that's Billy understood. Basic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we're going to start to turn then. So again, keep it nice and slow like we've been practicing on the way here. Here we don't want the, the manoeuvre too fast. Right. The slower the manoeuvre happens, you're, the easier it will it will be. Always the key to every manoeuvre. Um, as we get about halfway round, um, we're going to stop again and we're going to do our blind spot check. What that basically means is that we're going to stop the car and you're going to have to look out of your window. Um, just to make sure that no cars coming down, and um, no motorcyclists are overtaking us, cyclists another one, um, so we've got to just do that check to make sure right. that nothing's coming. Yeah, you'll help me with that anyway. Yeah, I'll you through it as we get there, and then obviously we're going to complete the turn. Yeah. As we start, as the as we start to enter the new road, then and we start to run parallel with the curb, so straight with the curb. Right. Okay, parallel with it. That's when obviously we take that steering off, right. so it comes full off, so the wheels are completely straight. Yeah. And. Um, then obviously looking out the back window, because that's the direction in which we travel, um, we're going to be slowly going down the road, um, possibly until the, the white lines end or far enough in, until obviously I tell you to stop. Right. Okay? Any questions? Yeah, Yeah. how will I know when I'm close enough to the curb? Uh, we're going to be using reference points um, from early of the time for this manoeuvre. So when we get, we could do it here, because there's no reason why we can't. If we look out the back window... All right. So if we look out the back window. Oh, you mean look over? Yeah, yeah. look yeah. over your shoulder, out the back window. Where does the kerb uh, enter the car or hit the car from where oh, we just by the, the edge of that wiper. Yeah. Your which wiper? For you. Yeah. So the the wiper that's in the middle. Yeah. So that's where the the kerb is. Yeah. So that would mean that we would be close enough to the kerb, so we're not hitting it. So that's oh, your right. reference point oh. for going around. Oh. Okay. I also find that it helps me that the further down the road you look as well, so by all means keep a, keep a glance on that rest of the point, and then the further down the road the straighter end up going. All oh, right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah, so why would I do this manoeuvre then? Um, the reason we would do this manoeuvre is if um, we needed to turn the car around, um, we couldn't drive around the block uh, because it would take us miles out of our way. Uh, it wouldn't be safe for us to do the turn in the road, uh, and this I would re recommend is one of the more safest ways to turn the car around. Um, so if we wanted to turn around and there was a road here, it would be safe for us to be turning into the road yeah, than you, it would be to. Yeah, because I live in a I live in a minor road, which is a dead end. So yeah, it'd be okay for me to reverse it onto the major road, wouldn't it? No, nope, we can only reverse from major into minor. Oh, right, we yeah. never reverse from right. minor into major. Right. Okay. Um, obviously, if it's two minor roads, then. Uh, obviously that's fine, but we can never reverse onto a major road. Oh, okay. We can only reverse from a major road into a minor road. Right. Okay. Going to get practicing? Yep. Yeah? Ready? Yeah. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Okay, so we're going to pull away um, as if we're normally going to do it. Yeah. And then we're going to go nice and slow past the road. We're going to take a glance into the road to make sure that obviously nothing's around because I can't see past the bins. I appreciate you might be able to see a bit further, but I can't. To make sure that obviously there's nothing right. cut on there, and then obviously we're going to stop just past the road. Yeah, you made something about a signal meter. Um, yeah, what we do, if there is something coming behind us, then obviously we're signal because we need to indicate to other drivers what we're doing. If uh, there's nothing behind us, then by all means, just okay. pull up. You'll help me with that, wouldn't you? Yep, I'll guide you through. So, nice and slow. No, there's nobody in there. No, there's nobody in there, so that looks nice and good, doesn't it, for us? Yeah. 
Well, they are. So they're in each signal. Uh, is there anything behind us? No. Okay, so we can just obviously pull yeah, into the side of the road. Nothing coming towards me, is there? No. Yeah. Nobody crossing. So remember, we want to be about a drain's width oh, away yeah. from the curb. Yeah. Okay. So that looks quite good. Happy? Yeah. Okay, handbrake on then. All right. So secure the car. Yeah. And into neutral. All right. Okay, and obviously now we're obviously we're going to go into reverse because we've got to reverse up to the bend. All right. Okay. So that's not reverse. That's fourth. All right. Uh, reverse is over towards you. We'll worry right. about and down. That's reverse. Okay. Yeah. Don't just back off there. It's important to be in reverse. Because we're going to go backwards. If you're in a forward gear, we'll be going forward, but you'll be looking backwards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you need to make sure that it's yeah. in reverse. Yeah. If you don't want me to do that again, <laughs> make sure you tell me that. Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise, we'll be looking that way, but we'll be going that yeah. way. Or because it's a high gear, we'd possibly still. So, so is he going to play around with that? Of course he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you give him the reason why, he'll probably back off. Yeah? Okay. All right. Yeah. So we're going to be looking at the back window this time. Right. Two hands on the wheel as we reverse. Yeah. Okay. So obviously it's like that, but we've yeah. got to be looking at the back window. So where we're going to be looking over our left shoulder. Oh, left shoulder. Yeah. And yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Two hands on the wheel. Though. Yeah. Okay. We're looking out over our back shoulder. All right. Yeah. You can yeah. turn. You can turn yourself in your seat if it makes it easier. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You can take your seatbelt off if it makes it any easier, but you've got to no, put it on every time we go forward. Okay. Yeah. So do I go? Looking out the back window then. Yeah. Okay. Hand on the handbrake because that's going to be our next manoeuvre. So what you're looking for is you're looking for, out of this window as well, we know that the back wheels are somewhere in the corner of that seat. All oh, right, yeah. That's where the back yeah. wheels are. So once the, once the corner of that seat gets to the beginning of the kerb, that's when we're going to stop. All oh, right, Okay, Or yeah. the beginning of the bend. Yeah. Okay, because we roughly yeah. know that that's where the back wheels are. All oh, right. Okay, that's going to be one of our roughest ways that we're going to yeah. use. All right. So looking out the back window and looking into the side window when you get, obviously, feel that you get into the uh, junction and then we're going to stop. Yeah. Okay. I'll guide you through it. Oh, shall I go then? We're going to take it nice and slow, so oh. you won't need any more than the bike point, okay? Alright. Stop, stop, stop. Slow, slow, oh. slow. Stop, stop. Okay. Handbrake on. I was only on the biting point. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> we're all forward again. Right, I'll give you a bit of help with this. Okay. Right, when you were sitting over there, did you look at the corner or we were going to reverse around? Uh, yeah, no, I had a quick look. Yeah? What kind of a camber is it? What kind of camber is it? Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, it's, we're, we're rolling into camber, as in yeah. the road goes down yeah. a little bit. Yeah, so what did I need to do with my feet there? Uh, cover the brake more. Yeah, so if I'm, if I'm not using the gas, where should the clutch be? Down. Yeah. Where was it? Up. On biting point, yeah? And even if you tell him that, he, he may well just have a little play around with the clutch. Right. And again, just say, now put the clutch down. It's important that we don't have the clutch too high, because when you let the handbrake down, we're going to go shooting down the road and okay. probably back off then, yeah? But it's, it's very important to give them the right instructions here. If I've got the biting point, it doesn't matter whether I'm covering the brake or not, um, that car's going to go shooting back, in it? Okay, yeah. Because it's, it's gone downhill, yeah? Yep. Yeah? So if I... If, where do I need the clutch? Just below biting point. On the floor. On the floor. Yeah. Okay. If I'm using the clutch on biting point, then I should be using the gas with it, yeah? Yeah. If I'm using the brake and I've got the clutch on biting point, I'm going to have the two fighting each other, am I? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And how am I going to keep the car sliding? By dipping the clutch. Well, no, I'm going to keep the clutch on the floor because we're going downhill, yeah? So we're going to do it completely on the brake. Yeah. So, where's my right foot going to be? Over the brake. It's going to be covering the brake. Right, so so if I cover the brake, is that going to slide the car down? Uh, no, because we need to push on it. Yeah, how, how hard? Uh, smooth but progressive, that, probably that about a pound. That's a pound, pound coin, yeah? So if you tell them to cover the brake, that's not going to be enough, yeah? You're going to need to tell them to press it a thickness of a pound coin, yeah? Okay, yeah. Yeah? Otherwise, it, um, um, the downhill is actually going to take me downhill. Downhill very quickly. <laughs> and, yeah, observation-wise, yeah. You told me to have a look through my window here on the brief. Yeah. yeah? I want to be looking a little bit further than that, don't I? Well, obviously, you want to be looking, checking your blind spots and yeah. enough into the yeah. window. Yeah. So, yeah. So. I've got the handbrake down because uh, I don't need it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And watch them when they're putting the handbrake down because they might not release it completely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah? Okay. 
So now, now tell me where to look. Yeah, we're going to check our blind spot first, aren't we? Oh yeah, that's okay. And then we're going to look out the back window. All right. Yep. So are you quite happy with me checking the blind spot that way then? Because you've got to remember, the, the observations have got to be the most important part of this manoeuvre, haven't they? We need to be making sure that you're checking blind spot properly, so are you looking out there? You really exaggerate the fact that we're looking. So turn you a little bit more. Oh. Round, round. Right, actually tell me where to look. Where's the blind spot? Passenger's window. It's between the head restraint and the door pillar, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? So if I'm checking it properly, you should be able to see my right here, shouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Right, now on the first one, you can ask me what I can see. So what can you see? Oh, I can see that bin just past the uh, uh, the lamp post. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> or he may tell you you can see a car. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now it's very important. Once you've got him looking in the right place to begin with, and he's told you what you can see, don't keep harboring him up on a bed. Has the car moved? Has the tax expired? What's the registration <laughs> number? Yeah. Um, what colour is the bin? <laughs> just, just tell him to check into his blind spot and okay. watch him. Yeah. If, if you can only see the back of his head, he's not checking. Okay. But if you can see his right ear, he is checking, yeah? Okay. And once it, once he knows that you are watching him, uh, he will, uh, and on the first one you have actually asked him what he can see, he won't normally play around with that, yeah? Okay, because you've yeah? covered it. Yeah. But you need to watch him. If you're not, as soon as he sees you looking out that window there, he'll be... He won't check at all. Well, he'll be quite happy to sit back and... Uh, <laughs> Let you get on with it. <laughs> yeah? Right, okay. Right, so where do you want me to check? So check your blind spot. Which is where? Between the headrest and the door pillar. Oh yeah, head restraint. What can you see? Oh, I can see that bin just past the, um, the lamp post, yeah? Good, yep. That's it. And tell me what I'm looking for. I'm looking for cars, pedestrians, yeah? Because we never mentioned pedestrians on the brakes, did we? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So is there anybody coming down the road? Is no. there anybody coming down the road? No. Yeah, anybody coming down the road from behind us? No. No, no cars, no pedestrians? Yeah. Okay then. And then we're going to go backwards nice and slow. Yeah, how do I do that again? By releasing the brake. All right. Just cover the brake down the brake, nice and slow. Yeah, so... I'm hitting the brake cover, but I'm going to be pressing it thickness of a pound coin, yeah? Okay. Yeah? Yep. So I want to keep the car at what, what kind of speed? Slower than walking speed. Old man's walking pace, yeah? Old man's walking yeah. pace, okay. Right, so tell me... I want to stop when, when the straight bit of curb lines up at the top of that seat, yeah? Yep. So when the straight bit of her lines up with the top of the seat, that's when we want to stop. Oh, better now. Yep. Looks to be good. Yeah. Yep. Right. Now, obviously, we need to start to turn into the new road, which we're going to turn. Right, so mention that reference point then. Okay, so the reference point that we're going to use is that when the, the straight point of the curb, of the new road even, is in line with the top of the back seat. All right. That's yep. when we're going to... Yep. That's the reference one that we're going to use yep. to stop to start to get the turn on. Right. Okay. Yeah. So if we go past that point, you're going to end up going on the wrong side of the road. Or if we start to turn before, you're going to be hitting the curb. All right. Okay. Yep. So we don't want to be mounting the curb because there may be pedestrians. We don't want to be on the wrong side of the road because people may be turning oh, in okay. or coming up. Yep. And have to take avoiding action around us. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so now, obviously, we're going to turn. Just wait to see what that car's doing because he's just got in and he's probably going to be pulling off. Right, he's gone there. Okay. So obviously now we're going to obviously start to get the turn on. When we get about halfway, we're going to be stopping. Right, the think about this big red area of the observations, yeah? Yeah. Where's the front of that car going to go when I start turning that wheel to the left? Out. Wouldn't you want me looking all the way around me again? Uh, well, I got told that we only need to do one blind spot check. Is it two then? Did the person who, uh, did the person who told you that, uh, have they got a right hand wing, wing on that car? I'd imagine so. Uh, I should imagine they might have lost it a few times. Did it look a bit shiny than the rest of the car? No, you know, he said we only have to do it halfway around. So okay. that's why, that, they said we only have to do it halfway around, that's why I only cover halfway around. Well, I, I, I mean, what, once once I start moving and start turning that wheel... It's going to start to go out. It's going to go out. And if, and if I don't look before it goes out, I might get away with it 99 <laughs> times out of 100, but uh, I'm going to lose a wing eventually, yeah? Okay. Plus, I need to know what's all around me, don't I? Yeah, well, I don't yeah? Okay, so we're going to check the blind spot first then again. Alright, between the head of straight That's it, what can you see? Yeah, nobody there. Good. Okay. And then obviously we can start turning. We'll just wait to see where these people are crossing, because that's going to be another key for us. Oh, pedestrians, aren't they? Yeah, you see. So we, want to, we can't be turning into the road when they're crossing. They've got right way over us. 
Oh, so we need to wait for them, otherwise you knock them over. You don't want to be doing that. So once they're cleared, that's it. Okay, so we just check the glass water again then. Has it changed? Anything coming? Uh, no. Okay, out, looking back out the back window then. Come on, watch me. Yeah? Where do you want me to check again? Your blind spot, which is? All right. Keep turning, that's it. Yeah. If you don't watch me, I won't do it, I promise <laughs> you, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Is there anybody coming ahead? Is there anybody coming no. ahead? No. Is there... Yeah, come on, make me look behind me. Anybody coming behind us? No. Okay then. Anybody in the new road? No. Okay then. So what I'll do, ease off the brake. Ease off the brake, yeah. Yeah. I think that's a plan. Start to turn towards me then. How much? A uh, half turn to begin with, and then we can put a bit more on, I'd say. Maybe a full turn. Oh, full turn. Yeah, we'll go with full oh. turn to begin with. And looking out the back window. Looking out the back window. Yeah, all right. Is it only the back window I've already read? We can occasionally get a few glances in there. But we need to check our blind spot again. Oh, no. Anything coming? No. Okay. So as we start to straighten up, looking out the back window. As we start to straighten up, take the steering off. So how, straighten do the steering. how do I know I want to take the steering off? Because uh, the car will start to come straight, and obviously you'll start to see the kerb, the back kerb in that reference point that you had yeah. earlier. Yeah. Make make sure your instructions are understandable. Yeah. Okay. Um, when the car. But by looking through the back window and just glancing at the front window, looks like it's pointing straight down the road. That's when I take the steer off, yeah? Okay. Yeah? So where do I need to check now? Check your blind spot. Alright. Um, between. Take okay. your blind spot. Oh, right, between the head restraint and door. But yeah, yeah okay. I, suppose, I suppose there could be somebody coming down. Yeah, the there could be somebody coming down. Yeah, nobody coming. And then back behind, anything coming? No. And then back we go then. So nice and slow. Looking out the back window. Well, I'll do the steering. Straighten it out. So take the steering off. That's All it right. towards you. That's yeah. it. Looking out the back window because we're right. going backwards. Oh, yeah. Looking out the back window because we're All going right. backwards. Oh, the back window. <laughs> Come on, tell me to look at that car behind me down the road. Okay, so we're looking at the curb, basically. Car. Car. car you want to be looking at the car at the end of the road, and that's basically what we're aiming for. All right. So are you looking at the car? Yeah. Really? What colour is it? Blue. <laughs> so, so how do I know when I'm close enough? Uh, what, to the curb? Yeah. Can we use our door mirrors to glance in them? Well, yeah, I can use a door mirror. But, but the reference we... point is the key thing. So when the refer when the when your reference point that we picked up when we first started... Oh, it's not lining up. It's not lining up. No. How far out is it? Um, it's completely the other side. Completely the other side? Yeah. What, well, the kerb's on the other side of the road? No, the kerb's on the other side of the window. Right. The kerb's not anywhere near the wiper where I lined up to begin with. Okay, so you need to get it closer then, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So how are you going to do that? I don't know, I've never done this before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're going to have to turn the wheel a little bit more towards me. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Is that a good instruction? Uh, no, not really. I can't. Um, can't wait. So, we, so, so we did consolidate quarters, halves, yep. three quarters, and a full turn. Okay. I would say a quarter of a turn. All right. Yeah, you got to remember if you don't tell him, he won't do it. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay to go when he's there? Uh, no, I'd wait for him because oh, he right. looks like he's going to cross, didn't he? Because he looked at us. Oh, and yeah. he'd say, "What are you doing?" And then he crosses. Okay. Yeah, it's just encourage me to have a quick look over my right shoulder. So have a quick look over your right shoulder. Anything in your blind spot? No. Anything down the road? No. Straight ahead. And then back behind then. So quarter for turn towards me. All right. Yeah. That's it. Keep it going. Can I go a bit faster now that I'm straight? You can go a little bit faster, All but right. not too much faster. And a little bit, not the answer, a lot. The answer would have been no, yeah? Okay. <laughs> right, so tell me when that straight line reversing point comes in, Tony. Okay, so tell me when obviously that... Oh, it's there now. It's there now. Okay then, so we're going to have to take that steering off. So it's back towards you. Oh. Give it, and then half a turn to take it off. So a quarter of a turn again. That's it there. And then slowly backwards, looking out the back window. All right. So we've got to get the front of the car straight. So she's got to come around. 